Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk 4712. And today we are going to talk about a topic highly important for those who are undergraduates. Today I'm going to talk about how to balance your semester examination, your competitive examination preparation, and on top of that, in most of the cases, your college campus placements. Now this will also be important for master's students, in some cases for PhD students, if you're preparing for an examination and are also completing your coursework in college, this will be highly beneficial to most of you guys. I got this question frequently asked in a lot of my live sessions where I, where I was taking your questions directly. And it was a very commonly asked question. I thought that, hey, I've never actually discussed this before on talk. So let's do it today. Now, I have a very extensive experience in this, just in case you need to know that. So I prepared for gate examination with my college when I was undergraduate. And also I prepared for my ISRO examination when I was in BARC training school, which is basically a college part two. It's like graduation 2.0. So that is why I've come up with a few tips and tricks, which I would like to share with you guys. And if you find it practical, apply it in your day to day life. Now, in whatever case, you will have to come down to an agreement that you will have to balance three things. So let us say you want to crack some competitive examination, you want to perform well in your college examination as well, and you want to have a job in your hand as well. Taking an example of, let us say, a seven semester student. Now, it is important to balance these three things because you want all these three things as an output when you graduate. So the best case scenario is that you get a very good uh, gate rank or some competitive examination crack or you get into engineering services, civil services, whatever it might be. You got selected for some government job or you got a tremendously good master's through gate examination. You would like that to have once you graduate, right? Now, we all know that there's no certainty that, that you are going to get that. So everyone wants a backup, a campus placement, which you'll go to to have an earning right after you graduate. So you do also want a campus placement. You also want your semester examinations to go well. You do not want to be held with a backlog or also a very low CGPA because you know that automatically will not make you eligible for a lot of jobs and a lot of masters. So let us completely eradicate that myth first that you will be having a bright career even with a very low CGP or percentage as aggregate throughout your graduation. I know there are a lot of clickbaits on YouTube and a lot of people shouting that this many backlogs, I got this, 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 but that is like a very small percentage of population. I had a CGP of 9.57. It did not help me to get any campus placement, but all along the way, when I proceeded through my career in BARC and ISRO, it was always like a feather in my cap and it is always going to play in your favor. It can never actually cause a negative effect. And trust me, there are a lot of positive effects. So stop neglecting your CGPA. I'm going to talk about that in much more detail. Matter of fact, I've already talked about it, but there are a few things that I still want to cover. I just want you to know that have a good CGPA, like at least a 7.5 or an 8. Uh, beyond that, well, like I said, I'm going to discuss in detail in another video. Now, since you know that, now semester examination becomes important. And obviously, you do not want to have backlogs or in the worst case scenario, your graduation completing in more than four years. That's the worst case scenario because that is also going to stay with you for the rest of your life as long as you are going to pursue a career in the graduate field or the field that you did your graduation. I think that you got the point. So let us go at it one by one. So there are three things that has to be balanced. And the one thing that is most important was your first priority. So in this case, it would be your gate examination. And that is like, you can think about it like your spinal cord and the other two things are going parallel to it. So I've shown a graph to you guys so that you can understand in a better manner. This is that one task out of the three tasks that will never ever go to zero hours invested throughout your at least seven semester. Because right after your seven semester, you are going to be appearing in your gate examination. So you cannot afford to stop your preparation. And that is the reason for your confusion that what should I do during my semester examinations and what should I do during my 
let us say campus placement if a company is coming to my college what should i do should i completely stop my gate preparation short answer is no and let's just elaborate it for your better understanding see preparing for gate examination or your momentum of gate preparation or how good you are at solving those kind of questions is like a running flywheel a flywheel is a heavy rotating object now once you stop it it will take a huge amount of energy to restart in analogy it will take a huge amount of days for you to get back on track with the same momentum towards your examination preparation so that is why you should never put a pause or a full stop to your gate preparation it's only that if you're smart you'll be able to balance it by reducing the amount of hours that you invest and that number of hours that are extra should be going towards your campus placement if that is the time or it should be going towards your semester examination if that is required at that time which i'm going to elaborate even further like how many hours how many days before your semester examination what are the best way for you to cover the semester examinations quickly if you do not know i started preparing for gate examination back in fifth semester but beyond that also i was able to maintain a cgp of 9.6 9.7 something like that i'll i'll put my official scores over here and still was able to balance it because there are certain tricks that will be helping you guys to score well even when you're preparing for competitive examination so let us talk about time management the philosophy is very simple you're not going to bring your time allocated to gate examination preparation down to zero and when i say gate examination please understand i mean all the competitive examinations you are not going to bring it down to zero you are going to reduce it sometimes gradually sometimes in a discrete fashion you can understand using the graph over here so let us say earlier you were putting eight hours towards gate preparation now you're going to bring it down to one hour or two hour but you're not going to bring it down to zero so that when your semester examination or campus placement is over you are just going to accelerate again but if it is zero you'll be in a shock that oh my god i've forgotten so many things i'm not even in touch and that will itself take one week of your time so it is a strategic planned logical way of utilizing your time just distributing at the right moment so timing is important and management is important over here so as you can see one week is the golden zone that is applicable to most of the people to those people who are rather better they can do it in as less as one day or as less as 12 hours if you are really good or you have the notes which brings me to the topic semester examination is all about what professor said in the class so try to get the notes of topper or people who are very serious in their classes and just get a xerox or you don't even need to do that it's like in the 90s people used to have xerox now you can just take a picture and you can read out of that and that is one day before the examination a uh, quick tip is the memory palace technique about which we have talked already should go and check it out that's my secret to all my semester examination that's how i managed to get such high scores even by studying only one day before the examination so you can use that as well but the main principle remains the same you drop the amount of hour given to gate examination and spread it towards your campus placement preparation or semester examination preparation for semester examination you'll be going through the class notes or the kind of questions asked in previous year question previous years or in the case of campus placements you'll just be looking towards let us say it is an it company you'll be focusing time towards programming or it studying about the company or investing time discussing with your friends the kind of questions that are asked going to the internet all the stuff that you're already aware of other than that once that is over get back to your preparation and have a smooth transition so this is all about what you should be doing this is a logical way of doing and this is a very tested way of doing most people panic that when semester examination is there i should just cut down my gate preparation and they already know that doing so will hamper their gate preparation and so they panic all the time but this is what i've done this is what a lot of my friends have done if you have any questions down below in the comment section you can put it i go through each and every comments try to reply to as much as i can and if you have any further suggestions for competitive examination topics bring it down and i already have seen a lot of topics videos on those are coming another video on what is the priority list 
during under graduation is coming up that is a very important video something that i have not talked about but it is again important to those people who are in college and preparing for competitive examination and that's about it thank you for watching i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye